All right, so I'm gonna try to make this video real quick. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have been following uh, what's going on over there in Russia with Putin, who just uh, recently opened up a vault and found some artifacts that prove that Jesus was indeed a black man and not this white man who was plastered all over uh, various churches and even in some homes. And also that we, as black people, are the true Jews, not those who are over there now, uh, the true Jews and the true Hebrew Israelites. Now, of course, there are some of us who are already in this awareness, um, but for those of you who were not uh, in this awareness and now have this, 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 um, I don't even know if you want to call it new, well, newfound knowledge, um, hopefully now you will begin to identify yourself with the Bible and not only identify yourself with the Bible, but begin to align yourself up with the Bible, okay, um, as to how you are supposed to conduct yourself as a chosen one of God, the Most High God. Um, now, this is some awesome news. This is this is beautiful. You know, things are, are coming into uh, um, existence or uh the prophecies that has been prophesied is, is is coming into play it's awesome but the problem that i have is that black people are now becoming prideful okay um egotistical now <clears throat> And because of this, I'm, I'm trying to, to recollect some of the, the comments that I've read uh, just of yesterday. You know, you know, those black people who all of a sudden want to talk down on white people um, as if, you know, they are going to go to hell for what it is that they did. And assuming that because we as black people are the true the true Jews and the chosen ones of God that we automatically you know we are entering into his kingdom that's not true that's not biblical you see what you have to understand is this God the most high God is not a respecter of person he does not see color. He looks at the heart, you see? And not only does he look at the heart, he looks at those who are willing to put aside their will and, and follow his will. You see what I'm saying? Not my will, but thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. He looks at those who are doing that. And not only that, he looks at those who are keeping his laws and his commandments, that being the Sabbath day and his feast days, okay? Um, he looks at those who um, are conducting themselves with a heart of compassion, you know, towards their brother and their sister. He looks at that. You see what I'm saying? Just because you are a chosen one of God, that does not mean you have an automatic entrance into the kingdom. No. So I'm going to need you to bring down your ego, turn down your ego a notch or two or three or four. Okay. Because even though you are the chosen ones, even though we as a black people are the chosen ones, if you are not uh, if you don't believe on uh, Jesus the Christ as being the one true uh, only begotten son of the father uh, who came, you know, who was hung, bled and died for the remission of our sins. If you don't believe on his name, if you're not again following his laws and his commandments, if you're not keeping the Sabbath days, if you're not uh, keeping the feast days, if you if you. Um, if you are serving all these pagan holidays, this Christmas, Easter, uh, Thanksgiving, uh, uh, what's the other one? Um, I can't believe, I don't even, I don't celebrate them. I can't even remember. Was it Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and some other, if you're, if you're still serving these, uh, guys, these pagan guys by way of these holidays, 
honey, you're not going to, black or not, you're not going to enter into the kingdom. You can hang that up. So just because, again, you are the chosen ones, it's not your, does not grant you immunity, I'm going to say. And for you to look down on white people or any other race of people uh, because you have come into this 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 understanding or this truth of you being the true Jews, the true Israelites, the chosen ones by God, does not give you the right to put yourself on the pedestal above anybody else because you're not. They don't make us better than the next person. Yes, it is a blessing. It is an honor. It is a privilege to be chosen out of all nations, to be the ones that God chose as his chosen people. That is amazing. But see, what you also have to understand is this. It was us who sacrificed or who crucified Jesus. It was us who was disobedient to God's laws. It was us who turned away from God and started following other gods and idols and sacrificing our children to, to, to these other gods. It was us who did this. That is why we are in the predicament that we are in now today. This is not our homeland, but that is why we are here. Our forefathers were brought here because in, in the Bible, I think it's Deuteronomy, uh, he talked about how he was going to scatter our, our forefathers abroad for their disobedience. So you have, we have no room, no room whatsoever to be prideful or egotistical about anything. If anything, we need to humble ourselves. Be thankful and grateful for God choosing us as a people. And not only that, ask God to cleanse our hearts from all this malice, from all this bitterness, from all this, this egotistical mentality, from this hatred, this bitterness that we are feeling towards other people. God is a God of love, not hate. He's a God of love. Now, don't, don't get it twisted. He ain't a God to be tested either. Understand that. He don't play. So, as a people, we need to humble ourselves at this time because God is watching. He's watching. And for those of you who, who have become pompous and prideful now, oh, he's shaking his head at you. Believe that. Believe that. So, if you are thinking that because you are the chosen ones that you have a one-way ticket into the kingdom of heaven, you're wrong. Because again, God don't see color. God only sees those who are willing to do his will, keep his laws and his commandments, and love others as they love themselves. That's what God looks at. So if you're not operating in that, you can hang it up. Black, blue, purple, orange, green, brown, it don't matter. So I just wanted to come on and, and let that be a warning to us as a people, to the daughters and sons of Zion. Don't get boastful. Don't get prideful. But become humble. You see a white person down the street, don't turn, walking down the street, don't turn your nose up at them. Smile. Have a conversation with them. You see, God looks at that. That even though my people were done wrong by these people, they still remain compassionate. God is a God of compassion. Look at you, you're still here. All of us are supposed to be dead. But because of God's love and his compassion on us, matters not the color. So again, be careful. In the meantime, guys, peace, love, and blessings. Mwah.